Everything is okay. We are bringing from the from the regions. We are bringing tobacco, locally grown tobacco. So this is part of reviving the economy. The the, the, the the far places they cannot bring it by road because there is no infrastructure and it is not safe to bring it on, on the road. So the, the goods has to come here by air because on the road they cannot come. They will charge them three times what we are charging on the road. Each block they are charging money. So maybe there are hundred. Uh, bro bro blocks, and if they charge, uh, say five five dollars in each, can you imagine how much it will cost the people? The Mogadishu is the market, so we have to connect the economy of the rural areas into the market, which is Mogadishu. We are also taking people and materials. We are taking medicines. We are taking uh, food, children, mothers, old people from Mogadishu to the regions. This is a social enterprise helping the Somali economy to revive. Uh, we have to prepare the aircraft for the second uh, ne next flight. So we have to make it very clean. Uh, all the chairs have to be fixed. Uh, we, we have to clean the aircraft so that it could be good for transporting passengers and cargo. Yes. Walk your machine that way. Walk your machine. Yeah, up there, up there, up there. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a Use it for uh, for put it in the in the vehicles. Before you make it, let me do something. I live in the Netherlands. I live in the UK. I visited everywhere in the world, both east and west. And every place I went, I saw some nice things. And now, my thinking is that we should do those good things here in our country. I, I want my children to come back. They have lived in the in, in outside the country for a long time. Now, I want them to come back and see good things. They, they only saw hostile environment uh, from the media in Somalia, but there are good things that could be done in Somalia. So I am one of those people who have got the ambition to, to do good things in Somalia, uh, especially Mogadishu now. So we are very happy because we are saving our people. We are, we are going to be rebuild our country, which we ourselves, our, ourselves are the ones who did these mistakes to our country, or we destroyed our country. So we realize what we are doing was very, very bad. So we say, no, let us go back and let us rebuild what we have done to our country. He's explaining to him how to travel, where to go. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not very busy because we have no flight today. Today when there is flight, people are in the queue. Yes. And uh, this is our uh, passenger from Mogadishu to Kismayo BCB. They go in the airplane, whole of Africa aviation. Thank you. This is our people. Okay. The people who are checking in, the security is not allowing them. That's why we are sitting here. The problem is that they have to show identity card. Some of the people do not have. Our plan was to fly out at 9 o'clock. Now it's already, already 11 something. Now it's 11, two hours delay. They have to come through checkpoints when they come from the town. Everything has to be searched. We have to wait for them because they are calling me, please, I'm, I'm in the queue, don't leave me. That's what they are telling me. So I have to give an order to wait for them. <laughs> of people were not thinking that any company will start a local company. Everywhere we flew, everybody was trying to, to, to greet us. During 2010 and 2008, there is Al-Shabaab insulate the some regions. Now we are connected the people for the airline that they are very happy. Thank you. Yeah, it is really, we are very happy and it is really a very good opportunity to get an access uh, for flights from Mogadishu to Kismayo and the rest of the country. First time I went to Kismayo since it was uh, opened up again, I, I, I went with the, with the sea boat. I was traveling for almost 72 hours from Mogadishu to Kismayo. And now I'm expecting to fly, maybe one hour or something. I'm happy because also I'm forgetting my jacket and they bring it me back now. The place I'm sitting, I forget my jacket and they bring it there and I say thank you. No, everything is right. I haven't got any complaint. Security is in Bruce because that's why all these people in the airplane are going to XMI. Most of them maybe they don't they haven't seen XMI for four months, four years or something like that. The other challenge is the people are not educated. To, to travel. They, they used to travel by road. Now to travel by air is the first experience for them. So people are coming with is, is a lot of luggage. They don't want to pay. Still we feel happy. The main thing is to serve the people. We, know, we understand their problems. We are educating the people. Everything is okay. The flight is full. Everybody has boarded. We have waited for everybody. So it is okay. We are very happy. The first flight, there were only 20 people. They were very afraid when the aircraft was to, to depart. And when it was landing, they were just, they were shaking because they have never been to the, on an aircraft in their life. Now, uh, everybody knows, uh, you know, the Somalis take word of mouth. 
So those relatives went to their relatives and those other relatives and the multiplication of the information. So now people are learning how to board, how to bring their, their, their documents, how to carry their, their luggage. Now they are learning. I told you earlier that this is a social enterprise. We want to move sick people, we want to move children, we want to move women who cannot travel by road, who are not able to safely travel. And that's what is our ambition. In the meantime, we want to develop the airline, the company. We want to, now it's local, we want to make, we want to make it regional, just like Kenya, Uganda, uh, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Yemen, uh, the surrounding. Then after that, we have got the third phase to go international. So that is the, you know, the, the ambition of the, of the company. I have seen a lot of airline companies. I have seen a lot of, uh, you know, travel business. So. Airline business is successful if it is run very professionally, and we want to run it professionally. But we will pick up, we will grow with our people.